Casey Camera Boy here working on a First Amendment audio. Let's teach people respect our freedom to record. We'll be hitting all these buildings at once. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Good, bro. Is this county owned or do you know? Uh, not for sure, to be honest. Not for so sure. Can we come in? Um, yeah. Do you guys need something for. Yeah. Looking for a job? How do you. Hey, what is this place about? I'm kind of curious. It's like to get a job? Oh, like what kind of service? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't be camera shy. It's it's okay. Uh, but what is it about? Like, it's just agencies, just for agencies. Yes. Uh, okay. Thank you so much, Amanda. So this is 13 community-based organizations okay. offering services to our clients, youth, perfect. And families. All right, perfect. Thank you so much for the information. I'm gonna print it out, and am I allowed to post it on my video, like attach it? Um, Do you know? Okay, yeah, because I don't know if it's copyrighted. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Thanks. Hey, thanks a lot. Appreciate you. Hi. Thank you. All right, Casey Cameron Boy here at the Juvenile Division. You're going to see these people respect their First Amendment. Uh -huh. We're just coming around taking a look. Uh, what, what do you guys do here? This is the Juvenile Division for Probation. Mm -hmm. So this is where we have clients reported. Well, that, that's it? Work, so. Right down the way, you guys have the adult one? Yeah, so the way it's built right now is right next door is this new building called the Connection Center. Mm -hmm. so this is where outreach with other agencies can, um, they can kind of like rent in the space, they can do their meetings there, they can mm -hmm. get with the community, there's, there's computers available, if someone needs to come in and work on a resume or whatever they need to do. So that's in the first building here. Then we have the juvenile division right here, so any officers that are related to juvenile or station in this part, not, I shouldn't say any, some. Some are also out of our other juvenile uh, facility, you know where the juvenile detention facility is. Yeah, and the juvenile justice center, so we have staff station there as well to make it easier for some of the reports and things like that. And then next door is the adult division, so our adult supervision officers are, are housed there, and some of our other like uh, office assistants and staff and things like that. And then on the on the other side of that is our administration office, where our, our deputy chief, our assistant deputy chief, is, and some of the other people that do like the hiring and things like that. Are Awesome. Cool. We'll take the we'll oh. check the link. Thank you for being for professional. What's your name? My name is Kimberly Nagasa. Thank you. Thank you too for being um, professional. When you say different agencies, um, what do you mean with different agencies? It's like multiple. I'm not like 100% um, sure what agencies we partner with, but other agencies in the community, um, like the ones that offer like anger management services and other programs like that. Um, we have a couple like contracts to work with them to provide space for them to work okay. out of there. Um, so that they can host, you know, um, weekly meetings if people need to do the groups oh. there, or if they're looking for jobs, placement, things okay. like that. So we're just trying to make it really accessible for people to come to one place okay. to get those services done instead of Sounds having good. to, you know, go across town to HHSA and then cross town to employment connections. And all so it's like a temp, kind of like a temp agency, but... Um, I Okay. Oh, perfect. Shy. Thank you so much for that. I yeah, appreciate you. There was a, an article that went out in the paper, um, I don't know, maybe, what was that, three weeks ago, a month ago, that really talked a lot about it. Um, Vicelli Tides Delta did a big cover on it, and it actually has all the agencies listed and everything. And I think, I think. So people who aren't professional are supposed to go there to like get a job? Is that where? Yeah. They can. Oh, they, or anybody. Like, this is something that if you need help with services of, of any kind, not anything, oh. but. Oh, so it's for anybody. I'm sorry. It's for anybody. Okay. Yeah, it's oh. for the community, not just for each. Not for, not for, oh, okay, so. That's yeah. good to know. That's good to know. Cool. Thank you. So, do you have any business card, maybe, like. For them? Oh, for you, maybe people want to get a hold of you. I don't know if it's possible. Are you, like, the public information officer? No. I no? Well, just, I just have, my office just happened. Are you, like, the manager? No, I'm the supervisor. Oh, wow, that's cool. You're showing leadership. But, um, I can get you mine, too, but this is our juvenile division one. Okay. But I can get you my card if you want mine. Okay, uh, we'll probably, they'll probably get a hold of me if, okay. if people have any questions because I know people watch my videos and his videos yeah. and they might have questions that a lot of people from this town, they watch us. So if they have any questions or if they need any services, I hope they call and yeah. you guys have been very professional so I hope people the won't fear you too. literally just opened yesterday, I think. So oh. I'm not super 
Yeah. That one over there? Yeah. Oh. The one you just went into? Yeah, and they were professional over there too. They were super professional. They weren't like camera shy. I like that. I like that. Thank you so much. Stay Thank safe. You. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah, so they can get a hold of their hair. All right, we're going on to the next one. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, well, what services do you provide here? What's this agency about? This is probation. Oh, it's probation. Do you have any pr probation officer available? Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thanks. Howdy there. Is that some questions? Yes, sir. Do you want to do it here or do you want to do it? However you prefer. I won't feel kids, so don't worry. If I get them, I blur them. I blur them too. So no worries on you in your part. Uh, yeah, I just want to know what this building is about. Uh, this is the Tulare County Information Department Headquarters Office. Oh. So. so the next door is the juvenile, and this is like the adult one? Yeah, so this will be the adult. That one's the juvenile. And I think you guys may have already been Talk to the juvenile. Yeah, it's yeah. It's our community-based oh. center. Where yes, sir. Treatment yes, providers sir. can do okay. services. And then this is the adult side, so um, this is where people on adult probation would come in and check in um, and then see their, their officer. So they just come and check in here or if they're on like probation but they got a warrant they come here and turn this self, self in or? No, not necessarily. They not would necessarily. come in to check in, meet with the probation officer, whether they need um, referrals to treatment or they're you know providing some kind of mm. you know proof of employment okay. or things like that. Just normal conversations, normal business. They would come in here, meet with their PO and then you know, have those conversations and then be on their way. So, uh, for example, people had ju that just got out of jail and they're being put in probation or parole, are you guys helping these people to get a job to, for them to readapt to society? Right, so they would meet with their PO, we would, okay. we would do an individualized assessment to determine okay. what their needs are. Okay. If they did need employment, we have probation officers that provide that kind of training. We connect with uh, employment connections and we collaborate to be able to provide those services that they need employment, should they need, you know, drug and alcohol treatment, we have those services available too. Should they need any other type of individualized treatment or okay. service, our officers are able to make those referrals, especially with the connection center. Yes, sir. We can walk them over there and oh, kind of cool. sit them down with a specialist to do okay. the assessments and referrals needed to provide services. I, I actually know someone that just got out of prison and that's on parole and that actually comes here and his parole officer went and visited him where he stays not too long ago and he's staying in a tent right now. This probation officer says, we got resources to help you get to go to places. I just don't give them out to anybody and um, I'll, I'll help you. And he still hasn't got back to him, but why does, why does that officer get to and choose and get, who gets to get help and who doesn't? Shouldn't he do it automatically for everybody? Yeah, I'm not sure between specific conversations that take place between probationers and their assigned probation officers. I can tell you that if they're in need of a service such as housing, if they are homeless, then we would refer them to the proper resources that could provide those services. Um, you know, if there was housing assistance, we would provide them a referral to that agency to coordinate those uh, housing assistance Oh, needs. cool. That's cool, too. Uh, yeah, I mean, that probation officer says he has the power and the, and the uh, stuff to get you a place, but he says, well, I just seems right. not to do it. And if, if that was the case, you know, and uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. if that was the case, then I would, I would encourage the person to file, you know, a complaint. Um, to the department so those proper avenues can be explored and Thank you. Uh, who, would they who would they follow that complaint with? They would just come in here and ask to talk to a supervisor such as myself um, and then we would take the information and uh, you know do what we would do to Would you really do something though? Well yeah we would follow the department policy and making sure that everybody's treated fairly and the same across the board. Cool. I don't um, like to tell the truth. Um, I will let this person know because okay. this uh, officer that works here obviously ain't doing nothing to help him. Man. Um, it sucks, but uh, just yeah. at least we let you know, though. Yep. Yeah. My he's a dark. My I think, Brian Curtin, but I'm a bad. Nice to meet you. I think he's a dark Hispanic uh, male too. But I, I can get his name. But thank you. Uh, when, when people are done with probation, do you guys still follow up with people? Because I have some stories like. Um, actually, people who've been on probation, they become friends with their probation or parole officer because they help them out so good to get out of trouble that they become friends. And uh, do you guys create like lapses, connections with your uh, probation people or the people that are on probation? Do you create create that connection that after they're 
they're off probation, do you guys still call them? Hey, how you doing? Like, do you guys do that? Or? Um, I, don't, I don't know if any specific officers do that on their okay. own or take that upon themselves to okay. reach out. And see Is that allowed for you guys to do? I know that we, um, we've had people come in and reconnect with us and let yeah. us know about their success and we gradually That'd be great. And talk to them. Uh, but whether or not somebody creates a friendship beyond the services we pride after somebody expired from probation, I'm not, yeah. I wouldn't be aware of that. I mean, I, I'm saying because I heard some stores like that, they're, they're actually really great stores. There's people that they were out in the third, you know, like right on the bottom, and now they're like running companies because of these POs that they actually help them out, you know, they well, put them on their toes. And that's you know? the goal of probation is really yes. to provide services that their individuals need to kind of rehabilitation, get pretty them much. Back in there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. We, somebody can come in here and be in the worst spot in their life and our goal is to really spend the amount of time we yes. need with the individual to make sure that we can get them back to where they once yeah. were and wow. enjoying life and happy again. And that's through collaboration of other county agencies as well, not just probation, but we try to work together as a county with the collaborative agencies okay. to provide the best services needed for Perfect. the individual. Perfect. Well, uh, thank you so much. Yeah. You'll be featuring Kern County Transparency. Uh, my name is Abad, you've been very professional. I hope people can get a hold of you and they have any questions. I don't know if you can answer their questions, if they can ask for you. And I appreciate it for being professional. Stay safe, man. Have Thank you. Day. All right, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. You too. All right, that's it. Yeah. Wow, very professional. All right, Casey Cameron, boy. My man. Stay safe, bro. Keep putting the example, man. Keep putting the example. You were cool. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for opening the door to me. I appreciate you too. Of course. That's very um, nice of you. Thank you, man. All right, later. You too. Thank you.